Hi, I'm Brian with ericksontutoring.blogspot.com. Today we're going to talk about an algae bloom. Um, algae blooms are often called red tides, and what they are is there's usually an increase in nitrogen um, and phosphorus in a water body, and uh, in response there's an increase in the presence of red algae um, called dinoflagellates. Um, they reproduce, um, they sort of go crazy with this excess amount of nutrients and they just create this carpet um, or an algal bloom, um, which it's often called. Um, and this, this algal carpet or bloom um, uses up all the oxygen in the water um, because the algae are going through respiration. And the problem is that they end up taking all of the oxygen out of the water, then they die and the rest of the organisms don't have any oxygen. The, the algal blooms use up all the oxygen. So the result is a lot of fish um, that die uh, due to suffocation or asphyxi asphyxiation. Um, red tides, uh, algal blooms, um, are a phenomena that have been going on for centuries. Um, but like global warming, they also in recent times have started to increase in frequency um, due to human causes. Um, they are also now often being called harmful algal blooms, HABs. Um, but really it's important to keep in mind because, well, because not all red tides are red, first of all, and not all red tides or algal blooms are harmful. So we designate the ones that are harmful, harmful algal blooms. This has been a discussion of algae blooms.